Those loyalists, Those loyalists deserved, deserved what they got. They got. Couldn't, Couldn't agree, agree more. more. This is, this where, is it where it happened. happened. We smelled smoke, smoke in the middle, in the middle of, the of the night. When we looked, when we looked outside, outside flames, flames shooting, shooting in the estate. estate. Before, Before my uncle and I could stop, stop her, and rushed, and rushed out, out racing, racing towards the fire, worried, worried someone, someone would be hurt. hurt. She came, she came face, face to face, face with a horde of goblins, goblins frantically trying to stamp, to stamp out the flames. Out the flames. Suddenly, Suddenly, an icy voice drifted, drifted out from somewhere, somewhere in the smoke. smoke. Children, Children should be seen, seen and not and heard. heard. A blinding, a blinding blast, blast followed. followed. They didn't, they didn't even, even give her a chance to run. It's easy, it's easy to violent, violent response, response to a child, to a child wandering, wandering by. by. What were they, what trying, were they to trying to hide? My, My thoughts, thoughts exactly. exactly. It may, it may be grasping bigwigs, but, but I keep thinking, thinking that there, that might, there be might be something here that could lead, lead me to whoever cursed her. Might, might be the only, the only way, way to learn what type of magic can Which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here. And it's, and it's likely, likely they're hiding, they're hiding something. something. And, and at, at Rookwood, Rookwood Castle. Castle. Shall we, Shall have, we a have a look around? They seem, they seem to have set up camp, camp here for a specific, specific reason. reason. They have they stations, have stations for, everything. for everything. The boys Who's this? Bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once. Centuries ago. But that's what I heard. Rebellion! Rebellion! I've heard goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. It's a wonder, it's a wonder the ministry isn't, isn't doing, doing more. Always, Always on ready for a fight, fight around around loyalists. loyalists. It might, it might be worth taking a closer look, look at the house itself. itself. Sebastian, over here. Do you think yeah. this was damaged, damaged by the fire, the fire that the animals cursed? cursed? Could, Could be. be. But it, but it looks, looks to me as though this was This house, this house, the well, the, well, the, view. the view. What do you, what do you mean? mean? When? when? Give me a, Give moment. Me a moment. I'll explain, I'll explain in, a in a second.
Sebastian, Sebastian, this house, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor, professor. Hundreds, hundreds of years, of years ago. ago. Who? Who? What do you what do you find about that they were in a restricted section with a member that showed, showed this, this house. house? There was a little girl, girl and a drought. And a drought. The keepers have shown other members, members as, well. as well. The girl, the girl became, became a whole professor. professor. Her, name Her name was Isadora, Isadora Morganock. Morganock. She was, she was one, one of the keepers. keepers. The keepers, like in Quidditch. Quidditch. And you found, and you found a pencil, pencil in the library. In the library. I'm, not I'm not following you. I realize, I realize it's a lot to take in. in. I'm not even sure I understand it yet. yet. And, and no. no. Not like, Not like Quidditch. Quidditch. They, call they call themselves, themselves keepers, keepers because they're protecting they're some type, type of knowledge. knowledge. It, has it has to do with the vault of Grimm. Let me see Let if I've got this straight. straight. You have, have Ranrock and Ranwood after, after you because of something you found at Grimm's where you only went up via a portal key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you can witness in memories like keepers. Oh, oh, and, and this, this house, house belonged, belonged to a Hogwarts professor, professor who was, who was one, one of these non-Quidditch non keepers hundreds, hundreds of years, of years ago. ago. If I didn't, if I didn't know you, I think you're killing my leg. leg. It, it is a little bit much, much isn't it, when you put it like that. that. The point, the point is, is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Pan, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Someone behind this for a reason. Is it, is it blocking, blocking something? something? Only always always find out. out. Huh, huh, a stairwell. A Why bother blocking, blocking a stairwell? stairwell? There might there be might something, something here worth the closer, closer look. look. Reveal, the door that this sister is about. Tells, tells me there, me there are some something bigger. bigger. Journal journal is journal journal travels. Travels. A journal, journal entry is a door. I should hold I should on to this. this.
You're not you going to believe this. this. I can I see the undercroft. What? what? A daydream? A daydream? Because, because that happens, happens to me too. too. I know it sounds strange, strange, but honestly, honestly nothing, nothing you say, you say sounds, sounds strange, strange to me anymore. anymore. Fair, Fair enough. enough. I can, I can see, see the undercroft through, through this stone, stone wall, wall as though it's a window. window. This has happened this before. before. I'm listening. I'm listening. I think I it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. magic. But, but you said you, you said didn't really understand, understand it. And that you and couldn't wield it. it. That's true. That's true. And I'm still, I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the undercroft from here. I'm on a small floor. floor. We can. We can. But, but perhaps, perhaps that's not to tell anyone else about, about this for now. For now. Even on this. Understood. Understood. Well, well then. Invisible, invisible secret, secret ancient, ancient magic, magic passageway. passageway. Here we come. Here we come. I'm tempted, I'm tempted to, hold to hold my breath. breath. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago. And Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but... I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Yes! Revelio. Meet me near the ruins of Falbarton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Hello, Zenobia. What did you need help with? I need someone to collect my gobstones that have been hidden in very high places all over the school.
glad you came. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganwell potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying travelling vendors with Wiganwell potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity. What with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Brottle? Bard of Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Excuse me, did you say something about Bard of Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is, he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. 
I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts so that he's been held captive, or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. This looks intriguing. Rebellion. <laughs> this mentions in theory something about it being Bardolf's turn next. I should investigate. Places.
Ah, up at Hogsfield. Well, where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. Madame Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Badolf? What do you know of my brother? I'm afraid he's joined the Ashwinders and has no interest in returning. But what No, no, this can't be. He was seeking their advice, that's all. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? <laughs> oh, Badolf! Badolf! Badolf, you wouldn't have left without saying goodbye, would you? Magic. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. 
Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I... I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh... Reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. What well, good that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold to use a telescope? The constellations are beautiful. I'm not sure they're worth dying of a cold for, but they are beautiful. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. <sighs> A prestige. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? You mentioned astronomy tables earlier, in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar. The other is mere lunacy. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Perfect night for... I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. 
Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Lumos. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the glass from now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders were looking about? Oh, no. Not this close to school, I mean. Lumos! Look, there's the table. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Stargazing is all about patience and precision. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> This is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. <laughs>